Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tiller's Bourbon Challenge. We've got something special to try out of Tennessee. So here we go. All right, tonight we're trying Chattanooga whiskey. Okay. And it's very popular right now. A lot of people have been drinking it. Okay. Uh, some people talking about it all the time. Um, and I've known several people that just drank it and, and said it's very good and like it. Okay, good. Um, there's a long story behind the Chattanooga whiskey. Um, in Tennessee, for the longest, you could only distill whiskey in a couple of different counties. You know, one of them being where Jack Daniels is. Okay. And Chattanooga, the county was, you could not for the longest. Um, if you go all the way back to 1816 through 1900, Chattanooga was one of the top places that distilled whiskey. And then when uh, Prohibition set in, Tennessee actually started 10 years before everybody else and cut it all out. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. And then when they brought it back, they didn't bring it back to that county. Hmm. So in 2011, um, a couple of guys started up Chattanooga Whiskey. And they started pushing, you know, real hard to get laws passed for that for that uh, county that they were just still. Okay. And uh, so they went ahead at first and started buying, sourcing out their whiskey from Indiana. Which okay. a lot of people do, the MGB. I've products. heard that before. You've said that before. Yeah, uh, and that's how they started out. And then they kept pushing for laws to get through, and they finally passed the law. It was in 2013, known as the Whiskey Bill Law. Okay. And when that happened, they set up and started distilling, ex experimenting with different uh, whiskeys. And they moved around a couple of different buildings. And then finally, in 2019, they released this, and supposedly it's the first 100 batches. Uh, of their ex, uh, experiments that they had put together. Okay. And it's known as Batch 91. They also have a, a, a 111 proof also, which I'd like to try eventually, you know, one day. Okay. But uh, tonight we're going to try this. First time I've tried it. And this is the 91? 91? 91 proof. Okay. And Sounds good. Uh, going to open Very it up good. fresh. We're going to try it. See how it tastes. Okay. This is actually made of four ingredients. Got, well, supposed to be four, but I want to smell that. Cat. Two of them are actually uh, two different types of barley. Barley. Smell caramel. Ooh. Yeah, that smells real good. Yeah, I'll pour it. Up. Yeah, it smells great. It really does. Yeah, this is um, really good stuff. What I've heard, it's really good stuff, and we're gonna try it. So what we think. Oh yeah. All right. Cheers. Oh, and another thing I heard, uh, when you're smelling, keep your mouth open when you smell. Somehow that keeps the alcohol fume from building up and you get okay. a better, better smell of it. Better for the senses? Yeah. Interesting. I still smell alcohol though, but <laughs> I, that's just another thing I heard. So. Butterscotch and caramel. I'm detecting that from the mm. smell so All far. Right. Mm, it's got a great smell. Good to the nose. It's real good. And this, this is a straight bourbon also, and they call it a Tennessee high malt bourbon. Okay. Um, like I said, they got two different types of malt in it. Okay. But let's try it. Ooh, burn. But a good burn. Mm, I know yeah. I closed my eyes and made a face. I just had that kind of face. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's my face. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's my happy face. Think about bourbon. Usually the first sip is always a little stronger than the second. Mm. And once you drink about two or three times, you get more of the flavor. It's very, very good. Strong, burn, but smooth. Oh, I love that smell. Though. Oh, and the heat is nice. The heat is very nice. Yeah, it's, um, let me try this again. Mm. This is great. I really smell the, or taste the um, caramel, butterscotch, cinnamon. It's like a red hot, but a thousand times better in alcoholic. Uh, 
And it's got what kind of what I call a uh, almost a burnt toast aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad burnt toast way, but the right. toast is just right burnt, you know. Yeah. And uh, I got that little bit of flavor to it. This is wonderful to the senses. Not just the smell and the taste, but when it's going down, it, I don't know how to describe it. But oh, it's, it's definitely good stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, another thing I read about it is uh, they, they put it in two different barrels over time. Mm -hmm. uh, one being charred, one being toasted, both white oak barrels before okay. they finish the process in it. And uh, you definitely, definitely taste the charred barrel part in it. This or, is what I think. some of the best bourbon slash whiskey you've ever given me to try. No, and I think it's that real good. Very, very, very good. And, and you know, it has a, you know, for a 91 proof, it actually has a stronger kick to it. Yeah. Than you would think it would. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to drink the one love. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it, but uh, you know, it, you this might. This is you might fantastic. Be. This is absolutely fantastic. Really and good. like I said, it is um, a sensation for all of my senses, but I'm enjoying it tremendously. Yeah, I, I, I really am. I really do like it. Um, mm. Like I said, they, they've been in a couple of different buildings, but the building they're in now is their final building, they got enough room to distill, and they have a couple of different other ones. You know, this is the bourbon, and then they also have some whiskeys. Um, but this is really good stuff. Um, so everybody has talked about it, talking about how great it is. Uh, now yeah. I finally see what they're talking about. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I've actually had this bottle mm -hmm. uh, you know, over a month, but uh, just got Wait for the right. saving it now for the right time. This for me, it. I'm special. Take mm. it for me. No, she likes the, the craft stuff. You know. I do. And uh, they were one of the top craft bourbons out there, Chattanooga whiskey. Mm. <clears throat> and, and from what I understand, there's only you, only you can only buy this like in 14 different states. Okay. And Alabama being one of them. Sure, sure. And But they do sell it up in Ohio and uh, you know all through the south and different parts. It's kind of scattered out. Yeah. That'd be harder out west to get, I guess. Maybe so, but... That would be the area that would be... But these online internet places, uh, they sell it. And I, I There's thought, a markup, yeah, though. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Just like any other stuff, it's hard to get. Yeah, yeah. But this is really good, and it did not let me down whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it has got a bite, but smooth. Absolutely delicious. Like I said, the caramel, the butterscotch, cinnamon's coming through. It is just yummy. It just makes you ready for fall. Sweater weather. Yeah. The, the more I drink it, the more the Bonsai. butterscotch I can taste oh, yes. going in. And the, like I said, mm -hmm. the burn part wears off. The more the taste comes out. Right. And, oh, man, this is. It's terrific. Still got that good smell. It's got a good, good alcohol smell. Yeah. But it's kind of like the smell. You know, there's some that overwhelm the flavor of it. Right. Right. And this this is, is the proper amount of burn. Oh yeah, this is blended just right. Right. Now, I agree with you. I yeah. absolutely agree. Another with thing you. they do, they have a hundred different barrels. They pour to a, a large barrel. Okay. That, that mixes them together. And uh, so it, it gives it that right mixture, the right flavor. They took their time figuring out oh, what yeah. they wanted to this, do and what they is, were trying to this is really good put stuff. out. And, um, you know, they even got the head distiller's name. Grant McCracken on, oh, on the bottle. Okay, so and they take so much pride. Yes. Whoever works there, who's in charge, puts their name on it. That That's neat. That's it really, is. really and, cool. And another great thing I like about this, they do have the batch number on the back of it, which this one is 22H18R. Okay. And I love when they put batch numbers. It's, so you find You can look up. And if you don't like a batch, you can avoid it. Yeah, if you love a batch, yeah, you find it maybe. <clears throat> Not all batches are the same. Sure. Um, and you'll hear people talk about certain batches are even better. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, you can actually look up this and find out more about it and, and find out what the talk is. And there may be a certain batch that people love over that. And that's, you know, certain ones you look for. But that's one of my favorite things to do. Well, I really enjoy this. And, you know, like I said, um, discovering bourbon, discovering that I like it, then some that I love. Um, and learning, learning as I've gone these past several months, it's been just so much fun and such a joy. 
and I'd highly recommend, um, you know, I've always loved wine and, and margarita and I used to love beer, but I'm so glad that I've been introduced to bourbon and being able to discover what I love and what I don't love. Um, it's, it's been great. And I, oh yeah. I really, this is one of the best things I've ever tried. Yeah. Um, yeah, for all you that wonder, hey, it's, that's not the high-end Kentucky stuff. Well, it's very good. It's made in Tennessee, but it should be high-end. Um, and also for you guys, like, like I'm talking, you know, you can obviously understand that I'm no expert, and that's okay, you know. Um, that if you want to share this with your wives, and we're drinking it neat, but maybe over ice, I, I believe that you'd be surprised that some of your wives would really enjoy you, you know, sharing this with them and, and, you know, pouring them a glass and like, Hey yeah. babe, try this. This is, this is really good. Give it a shot. Well, and also a lot of the, the bigger distillers recommend over the rocks because mm -hmm. it kind of brings out the flavor once the okay. ice sets in. Sure. Um, most people prefer drinking neat, which I do it both ways. I like over rocks. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm going to try this over rocks also later, mm -hmm. but right now this is, yeah. Oh man, this is I, this is more than just thumbs up. This is I love this. Yeah, I do this, too. This would I really, be, really do. I, this um, might even be one that I recommend. When right. I, what, what's your go-to Chattanooga whiskey? Or right, like I said, you guys that want to you know get your wives involved and buy them something that you think they'll like, I highly recommend this this Chattanooga whiskey bourbon whiskey. Really good. Yes, and, um, terrific, terrific, terrific. It's, it's not, like it, yeah, it's not too sharp. It's yeah. not too strong. It, it's perfect, perfect blend. If she don't like it, she would tell you she don't like it. Yes, I would. And, uh, and I really love it. It's oh, really great, great yes. stuff. I I just, you just want to see a little closer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, that's, uh, like I said, I've been wanting to try it for a while. I'm glad we did it and uh, held off on this bottle. Wanting to open it so bad. Gotcha. Finally got to open it. And did not let me down whatsoever. No, I didn't either. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. We hope you have a great night and a great week. And please catch us again next week. Please like and share. Thank you.